Beverly Hills Cop, Eddie Murphy wants to turn it into a TV series. Do we think that's a good idea? It can't hurt. I mean, I mean, what's the, is he going to be in it or no? No, no. I don't okay. think so. He wants to produce it. He wants the, you know, the further adventures of Axel Foley on weekly television. Well, who would you get to play um, Axel Foley? I don't know. I mean, how much life would a show like that have, though? I just can't picture a you know, 20 or 22 episode season of a show like that. Because, you know, they've already done um, the film. It's like, how much more can they squeeze out of that? And to me, it seems like they're just trying to sell it on the name and hope that people will tune in. But I could see that getting old very quickly after a certain number of episodes. Because, I mean, how many adventures can they get into week to week? I, I I see that part very very vividly too, like what you just said. But there's something that Aaron said in the, uh, one of our past shows. He said the mistake of Beverly Hills Cop 2 was that it kind of totally discarded what made the first one so right. good, which was the fish out of water element. Uh, and there comes a time when you can't be a fish out of water anymore, mm-hmm. especially in a series that runs 22 episodes a season or whatever it might be. After a while, you know, you become kind of acclimated to your surroundings, and you're no longer a fish out of water. Uh, you're kind of accepted, or you know, accepting of your surroundings. Well, but how many I think, films? I mean, how many shows? I mean, I've, I've films I've ever turned into shows have really been successful. The only one I could really think of recently is Friday Night Lights. Like you think of The Firm, and that didn't do well. There hasn't been too many movies turned into shows that have really been successful. Well, the most successful would be Mash, wouldn't it? Um, you mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. recently, I mean. Oh, recently, no, I mean, and even the things I'm thinking about that I grew up with, like, um, there was, remember, there was a Fast Times um, at Ridgemont High that was short-lived, and Private Benjamin did okay, but for the most part, it's a, it's really not a great um, genre. It doesn't work for the most part. I think if no. they're based off books, um, they can be successful, because a lot of times when you have a book like Friday Night Life, which has turned into a movie and then a TV show, there's so much material there and so much rich material to kind of you know flesh out over the course of a mm-hmm. couple of seasons. But you know something like Beverly Hills Cop, you know, yes, you, I think Jamie was right about the fish out of water sequence. It's like how many how many times can that happen over a a course of a like, 25 week uh, right. mm-hmm. season before it gets very old in a hurry? Well, and and even being based on a book doesn't guarantee anything because Eastwick flopped after like two shows. They pulled the uh, Witches of Eastwick show off the air last mm-hmm. year or whenever that was. It was recently. Um, so I you know I think it's a good idea only for this reason. What are the number one shows on TV at week after week? They're all cop investigative right, stuff. Right, yeah. It could, CSI it, yeah. this. Just call it CSI Beverly If they Beverly play it Hills. like that, yeah. I mean... But doesn't one of the CSIs actually... No, they don't have a CSI Beverly Hills. That's well, why don't they just do CSI Beverly Hills? <laughs> that would be... that, that's what they should recall it, and that'll, that'll confirm success for them. 